Hey everybody, welcome back, and today we actually got a little bit of a different video. Um, let me reset that. Um, so, as you guys know, if you're in America, the election is tomorrow, and I'm gonna give you, I'm not gonna do predictions or anything, um, because I don't really want to reveal my political points, because that might get me cancelled, or people are gonna hate me. So, I'm gonna do those, I'm gonna show you all my, um, easiest path to 70 for each candidate, now. Um, most of these states that are just like this color are probably going to be won by the can the candidate that it shows. So I'm going to just fix all those up real quick. And then show you about some, some of the battlegrounds. It's the only exception here. Um, fix that. Um, the only exception is Iowa. Now, I was kind of weird because, uh, um, fix that. Iowa, if you saw yesterday, Harris was actually leading in Iowa. Now, most, I'm just going off of based off of, um, stats I've seen. <clears throat> most people that vote in Trump, they vote on election day, because last year, Trump said that they lost because of the, um, mail-in ballots, and that may or may not be true. Um, we don't really know. I mean, I think they did a case on it, but I don't really pay attention to that. Um, but that's, that's, that's what, anyways. Um, Harris is leading. Most Trump people vote on election day. Because of that mail-in ballot thing that happened last year, so she could ju that could just be because of all the early voting. Early voted ending um ended actually two days ago. Well, um on the East Coast ended two days ago. It ended um at sometimes yesterday for some other states, but two days ago in the East Coast and most of the mainland America ended yes on Sun Saturday, um and um I went and voted because I just w I can't go on election day. Because of um, things, I did vote. I'm not gonna tell you who I voted for, but um, it showed Harris is leading here. So let's just say Harris takes this. If Harris takes Iowa, that's gonna be a big blow for Trump. And looks like Harris is gonna win Michigan and Wisconsin as of right now, which that'll put her at 257. And if she wins those, Trump is gonna need a big thing. So for Harris, the easiest thing. This is, I'm not sure the easiest scenario, because Trump is probably ahead of Iowa. Harris looks like she has this blue wall. The, her easiest um, way for her to win is to hold this blue wall and get Pennsylvania, because if she gets that, she wins. Now, I can just move that and use that. Let's say Harris wins Iowa. And Trump, let's say Trump holds on to these two states down here. I'll put 245, so we need 25 more. So let's say Harris wins both of these. That'll make it, Trump will have to win this, he'll have to win Pennsylvania, and one of these two states. He can't win these two, so if Trump wins, let's say this, then he'll need either Nevada or Iowa. But let's say Trump holds on to this, he can just win Pennsylvania, North Carolina, um, and Georgia, and then he'll be fine. If Trump holds on to Iowa, and he wins Pennsylvania, North Carolina, and Georgia, he'll be fine. Now, Trump can still win. Even if he loses Pennsylvania, let's say Harris wins it. Um, what does what is gonna happen though is Trump will need to win. Um, I th he will need to win Wisconsin or Michigan. Let's say he wins Wisconsin. If he wins Wisconsin, he can just win Arizona, and he'll be good. Now he cannot win Nevada. Nevada will not be enough. He'll need to win Arizona. And then now I put him at two seventy two, and now I put Harris two six if she wins Nevada. So I'm gonna say the easiest way for Harris to win is just to secure Wisconsin and Michigan, which it looks like she has both of those right now. Um, the, the hardest, the easier one for her to win is probably definitely Michigan. Wisconsin might be a little tough because Trump, it's been a red state a bit. Trump's been pushing there. Harris has not been focusing on the two states in the Sun Belt, um, so I doubt she's gonna win Arizona or Nevada because Trump has been probably trying to uh, um, get the people there and Harris is mainly in the, in the last two weeks she's been mainly ho going Wisconsin, Michigan and um, North Carolina and Pennsylvania. Um, Harris, North Carolina and Georgia are so so close. Trump is leading right now with the polls but it is very close. The easier one for Harris to win is probably, I it's, they're both close. I think it's North Carolina but it could be Georgia. Now if Harris wins either one of these and the blue wall 
then I th then Trump he can still he can still win, but he has to win every other state if Harris wins one of these two. Now if Harris wins both, Trump is screwed. Trump will lose the election if he if that happens. But the easiest path for victory um for Harris is to win the blue wall and Pennsylvania. Then that'll put her exactly at two seventy. Now if Trump wins Pennsylvania, but Harris wins let's say she wins Nevada and this one. That'll also put her as a win, even if Trump wins Georgia and Arizona. I'm leaving these because I do think Harris is gonna win this. States. I'm, I'm actually my mom should try. Now the easiest way for Trump to win for him right now it looks like he's gonna is for him to secure North Carolina excuse me, North Carolina, Georgia, and Arizona, and then Pennsylvania or Wisconsin. If Trump wins Wisconsin or Michigan, that's gonna be a huge vote. Pennsylvania is probably gonna be the one of the US, if not the last state to be called, just like last year. But in the early poll, well, not the early, these, all these states probably be polled kind of like the next day. But out of like all the states outside Pennsylvania, if Trump wins Wisconsin, Michigan, North Carolina, or Georgia, that's going to be a huge blow to the Harris campaign because then they're going to need a lot to happen because Trump can just win this and win the whole thing. Now, let's just put some percentage. Now, Michigan does not like it to be turning blue, red, but let's say it, it is red. Trump can just win. One of those, and then this. Now I'll put my 269. And that, uh, if Harris wins um, either Georgia or North Carolina, and Arizona and Nevada and Wisconsin, but Trump wins Michigan, that'll put it at a tie. And there's another scenario where we can tie with these, um, with the Maine and the Nebraska um, districts. I'm not going to go into that because it can be kind of annoying and it's very, very hard to understand. But, um,. There could be a tie, and what happens if it's a tie is it goes to the House, which would decide. I'm pretty sure if the House can't decide, then it goes to the Senate, and if the Senate can't decide, I think they just keep going until they decide. Now, the Senate and the House are also being re-voted on um, in an election tomorrow. As, right, as of right now, the Republicans control the House, and I think the Democrats control the Senate, I think. Um, but yeah, they're re-voting on that. Um, so they're probably not going to. I wish this high. They probably will wait till the House and the Senate are voted, um, are completed, and they'll see who's going to win that. Um, if the Senate is close, it could. I mean, if the Republicans control the Senate, if they keep control, they're probably going to say Trump should be the president because they're the same party. But that could happen. I mean, I've heard reports of a lot of non-Republicans. I mean, not well, not a lot of Republicans who are not voting for Trump. Um, so a lot of the Republicans see this. A good amount, I'm not going to say a lot, but a good amount of Republicans seem like they are not on Trump's side. So, yeah. But, um, whichever party wins the House, if it's a tie, will probably choose the president of the same party. But, yeah. So, that's going to happen. I don't really want to make an election prediction, because I don't really want to offend anyone by saying, I think this person is going to win. But... The most likely thing that's gonna happen for each candidate is I'm gonna put the states that they're gonna win. Just um, Pennsylvania will probably be the state that decides it all. I'm gonna put the states that I personally think are gonna be won by each candidate. So this is why I think each candidate's gonna win, and I think Pennsylvania will be the toss-up state to decide that. Just like last year, it's gonna be close, very close. But yeah, there's that election going on. Easiest path for 270 for each of them is to win all these respective states for each of them, and then Pennsylvania. But there are some crazy things that could happen that would be a huge vote each candidate. This race is supposed to be the closest and most important election in American history, a lot of people are saying. And it is going crazy, man. There are so many people. Yeah. There is a lot of people that are not voting at all because they think both candidates are trash. Which I think, honestly, I'm not trying to insult anybody. I think as you're, as an American citizen, if you're over 18, it is your duty to vote for the 
for the um, future of the country. So I think if you don't want to vote, then just go vote. It doesn't take that long usually. I mean, if you don't, you can just mail in your ballot. I mean, I mean, I don't want to like hurt any other people by so saying that that can mess it up. But if you really don't have the time to mail in your ballot or just go vote, then please just I don't know, but just please vote. It's your duty as an American citizen to vote. I'm not saying it's any one particular age group, but I am going to say young people mainly, like people below the age of 30, most of those people, at least that's how it's been in the past years, did not vote. Last year there was an uptake in a lot of young people voting, but um, in the past, but before that, not that many people under the age of 30 voted just because they, I think they felt like it was a waste of time or something, but um, yeah, but if you're young, please, if you can vote and you haven't yet, please go vote. It's for the future of our country. If you don't live in America, then, um, I mean, I don't know, just, I don't know, do, I don't know, I don't know, I honestly don't know what to do if you don't live in America. I mean, most of my viewers are American, so I'm talking to all my American viewers. I don't hate my, all my, any of my viewers. I hate, love all my viewers, even if they're from another country. They're all cool. You guys are awesome. You guys have almost gotten me to 600 subscribers in like, right after, like, it was very close after we hit 500, you almost hit me to 600, so. You guys are amazing. But yeah, I just wanted to make this kind of unique video with the really big thing in American history that's coming up and we're living through it. But yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of something, but. No, I'm not gonna do that. I was gonna say a quick like if you think this was gonna win, or some and subscribe if you think this was. Well, I'm gonna just say how much you like and subscribe no matter who you think is gonna win, because that'd be awesome. Also, please, uh, oh, there's actually a campaign for. Um, let me get rid of that so you guys don't see where I live. Um, but that was a uh, one of the candidates that is running for. Um, I think the uh, the house in my state. So, yeah, get rid of that so you guys don't see where I live. <laughs> um. But yeah, so please like and subscribe. Let me know if this video was nice. I just want to try something new because this is a big thing in American history. Um, if you didn't like and like this video, I would really appreciate the feedback. And I'm not going to stop making Roblox videos. I actually have a jailbreak video that is actually currently in the works. I am have to edit it, but I'm going to do that. I'm going to have this up today. I'll probably have the jailbreak video up sometime this week, the other one. And oh my god, stop playing the ad. Uh, oh god, oh no, 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 no. Stop playing the ad of the person. Yeah, stop seeing this ad. I don't know what it is, just, just stop. Just stop seeing the ad, I don't want people knowing where I live. Okay. Anyways, what I was gonna say is... Just please like and subscribe. Um, I really appreciate feedback on this video. If it's bad, I won't make any more political content. I mean, I'm not really a political channel, I'm a gaming channel, but... I just thought this might be cool. Um, and if you guys enjoyed it, you want to maybe see more political content, then you can let me know. Um, but yeah, I'll have a new Jailbreak video up soon. Um, and I guess until my next video, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.